first episode where I'm going to get real with you about some things that have been happening. Um, this has never happened to me before in my life, but I can't sleep. This has been going on for weeks, and I've tried pills, I've tried chamomile tea, I've tried waking up super early, I've tried all kinds of things that you could Google right now if you were so inclined. I can't, I can't sleep. And um, there's a lot of anxiety surrounding that and uh, how I'm doing this type of travel. And one of the things I learned about the way I went about changing my life, I used to have a job I didn't like and I quit my job with almost no savings to travel the world in search of the best mystics and healers. And now I actually need a healer. I came home yesterday and I just wept like an infant for like 20 minutes. I was so upset. Bali has been the toughest trip of my life, hands down. And uh, what I learned, what I learned is that if you want to change your life, you don't have to pull the rug out under everything. You can just make, chip away at it each week. Uh, until things start to form, kind of like making a sculpture. Like you wouldn't just try to jackhammer the whole thing at once. You would just assiduously sculpt it, you know, over time until it looked the way you wanted it to look. That's how you should change your life if you're unhappy with your life. Today, I'm going to see a healer, this guy. He's a very famous healer of all kinds of problems, and uh, here in Abood, Bali. Maybe he can help me. I'm not eating or having coffee today, just to try to get in the mindset of being helped. You never know what's gonna happen with this guy. He's extremely revered and he's very old. My new friend, he's really doing a nice thing and he's taking me there because I don't know how to get there. We have to um, put money inside the offerings yeah. for the healer because that's the way that you're supposed to do it. You can't just you can't just give them money, or it's not respectful to just give money. That's him. That's the grandson of the last king of Abud Bali, a revered healer, almost 90 years old, and I'm going to get to see him here shortly. Here he's asking me to sit down in front of him, but I, I can't understand his English. <laughs> and so he gets really frustrated with me. He's a little bit difficult to understand sometimes. Now this part is where, this is the famous part. He pokes you in your toes and your foot with a sharp stick. See, I'm like, see how I'm, I'm jumping up sometimes in pain? God. It's, it's really painful when he pokes you as hard as he can. He's a strong, a very strong old man. And here he's doing a kind of heart presence chakra uniting thing with me, which leads to him standing over me and doing a rather traditional Balinese uh, prayer of sorts. He's making like markings over my body and in a prayer for me to heal the things that are obviously wrong with me. And then after 25 minutes, I'm gone. I think I'm gonna talk about what happened later because now I'm still processing. <laughs> I don't even know how I feel right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me for the conclusion. The conclusion, did it work? So I went to go see one of the most famous revered healers. Did it 
actually work? Well, I did sleep. I actually did sleep a tiny bit. Was it him? I don't know. But it did kind of work. Uh, I didn't sleep a lot, a couple hours. I don't feel very different. If anybody wants to know if I feel different, not really, no. Uh, if you go to a Balian, which is a healer here in Bali, chances are you're gonna get poked with a sharp stick. The chances are very high that you will get poked with a sharp stick. So if you don't like that, don't do it. Um, I have to see someone else. I have to solve this problem. I have a big problem. I, I need to sleep. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have two things to leave you with. The first thing that I've been thinking about is every problem in your life, every obstacle can either be a stepping stone or something that puts you down on the map for a little while. It's something I've been thinking about. Number two is believe in yourself. I believe in you.